Hey guys, did you know that one in four Canadians are unable to cover an unexpected $500 expense? According to a report by Statistique Canada, over a third struggle to meet their financial needs. When asked whether their household had the resources to cover an unexpected expense of $500, 26% said that they would be unable to do so. Guys, this is scary! Let me know what you think about this statistics in the comment below. How does it make you feel that one in every four persons you come in contact with are unable to afford $500 in the case of an emergency right now. This could be your friends, colleagues from work, and even family members. It may even be you. But fear not! In this video, I'm going to give you five simple strategies to help you save $7,000 fast in 2024. It's time to break free from financial stress and seize control of your savings. So if you don't have an emergency fund, or you don't have enough cash at hand in the case of an emergency, or you simply just want to increase the amount of your savings, you may want to grab a pen and paper and watch this video to the end. Because the five things I talked about in this video are going to help you save $7,000 as soon as possible. And the third thing I talked about is one that many people totally ignore. No wonder many are also unable to afford $500 in the case of an emergency. Some people who manage to do this ignore one very important step that can totally change their finances. So let's dive in. Now the savings goal is $7,000. But why $7,000? The answer is simple, as at today, the TFSA contribution room is $7,000 yearly. So, we want to make sure we're taking full advantage of this special account. Now, if you don't know what TFSA means, check out the video link above or somewhere in the description section where I talked about the TFSA. Okay, let's continue. We're going to consider FAST to be one year, because if you can save $7,000 in one year, you are way, way ahead of most Canadians in terms of saving for an emergency, a major purchase, or that vacation you've always craved. So let's talk about these steps of saving $7,000 in one year. The number one thing you want to do instead of just looking at this as one big, huge $7,000 lump sum saving, let's break this thing down. Let's break this number down to small, manageable, regular chunks. So instead of aiming for $7,000 right away, let's break this down to smaller savings of $583 every month for 12 months. $7,000 divided by 12 months is $583s. So you don't have to put away $7,000 at once. You will simply save 583s every month for 12 months, and that will get you your $7,000 in one year. Or, since most Canadians are paid every two weeks, you can decide to break the goal down to every paycheck. And you get paid 26 paychecks in a year. $7,000 divided by 26 paychecks is $270 every two weeks. So you can simply save $207 every paycheck. Now, I do know some people get paid two times a month. That's still okay. You just divide $7,000 by 24. That will give you 282s every paycheck. And if you're a numbers guy and you want to have some fun with the numbers, you can even break this down to 19 t more 12 every single day. For the purpose of this video, let's just say 583s every month or 270s every two weeks will get you to $7,000 in one year. So guys, the thing is, when you break down this large amount of money into smaller chunks, it just seems more achievable, more possible, right? This gives you that extra conviction that you can do this. Yes, you got this but it doesn't stop there. Now that you have the specific goal for how much you will save to get to $7,000 fast, the next thing is to write that goal down. Yes, write it on a piece of paper and put it somewhere you can see it every day. Stick it to your kitchen refrigerator, your bedside, your bathroom mirror, your screensaver, some poster boards. I don't really care where you put it. Just anywhere you can see it every day and be reminded of this goal. Writing down your goals is like creating a map to your destination. You have a clear idea of where you want to go, what you want to achieve, and the steps you need to take to get there. Not only that, but it also provides you with a sense of focus, accountability, and motivation. Each time you see it, it will remind you exactly where you are headed. So even if you have a bad day, you can still say you know why you do what you do. Okay, so where are you going to get $270 every paycheck to save? Because let's face it, if you had this money, you would already be saving it. That brings me to the second strategy I'm going to talk about. The second thing you can do to save $7,000 fast, and that is to determine your discretionary income. Not to worry if you're hearing the term discretionary income for the first time. Some people also call it your cushion. To find your discretionary income, you're going to do a budget every single month. This is key, guys. It means you are going to write down how much your income is and how much your expenses are, incoming and outgoing. The difference between your income and expense, that is your discretionary income. Whatever extra income you have after your expenses is what you are going to use to build your $7,000 savings for the year. 
Don't let this scare you guys. With a Google Sheet, you can quickly and easily put your household budget together in minutes. There are templates in Google Sheets that can help you get the task done easily. To access the Google Sheet template, simply open your Google account. Select the Google Apps tab, scroll down to Sheets, and click on that. It will open the Google Sheet application. Select the template Gallery, and under the Personal Templates, you will see the Monthly Budget Template. Open that and voila, you are ready to start putting your monthly budget together. Now, this is very important, guys, because what we are trying to do here is simply determine how much extra income you have and put that towards your goal of saving $7,000 quickly. If you have this 5 at 83 monthly or 2 at 70s every two weeks paycheck, then awesome. You are good to go. Just open that TFSA account or any other savings account type and start hitting on your goal. If you are not sure what type of account you should be using for this saving, I personally find that the TFSA is just great as it aligns with our goal of $7,000 a year. The first home savings account, otherwise known as FHSA, is also very good for any looking to purchase their first home in Canada. Just speak with your financial advisor to get personalized advice on what is best for your circumstances. What is really important is that you are saving and that the money is in a high yield savings account to be able to beat inflation. Now let's proceed. The number three thing you should do to save $7,000 fast. Now, some of you watching this will not have that 583 discretionary income, that cushion at this time every month. And yes, I get it. Times are hard. The prices of groceries, gas, and everything are going up through the roof. I totally understand. And if that is you, if this is where you are at this time, that means you need to find creative ways to lower your expenses. You want to reduce your expenses so that that cushion can expand, grow. You want to free up some money to put towards your goal of saving $7,000 fast. That is cutting out some things that you can cut out. It's true, every individual's circumstances are different. So what I cut out, you may not be willing to cut out. What I give up or reduce, you may not be willing to reduce. Yes, I understand that. But do not be too quick to brush this off. You will need to be a little bit creative to find where you can lower your expenses. Almost everyone can if they look deeper. For example, there was this colleague of mine that buys a Tim Hortons coffee on their way to work every single day, and they get another cup during their lunch break every day. No doubt, like most Canadians, you can say my colleague loved their coffee and cannot cut that expense. But you know the interesting part of this story? We had two coffee machines in this office with different varieties and blends of coffee, including Tim Hortons, available. Would you say that my colleague may still be able to enjoy their coffee and still save an extra five five every day? Don't get me wrong, five eyes a day is not going to get them to 270s every two weeks. The point is, by being creative and giving it a little bit of thought, everyone can find something they can cut back on and save while still enjoying their lives. So, you may have to change the number of times you eat out, your mode of transportation, where you buy your clothes, shop for groceries, and so on. For some of us, we may have to make some really hard decisions, some really difficult sacrifices to hit our goal. But believe me, once you see that savings account swelling, Whatever sacrifices you've made will fade away. The self-confidence, the hope for the future, and that feeling of knowing you can take care of stuff in an emergency will make it worthwhile. Are you getting the idea here, guys? Awesome. Before we continue, let me quickly ask for a favor. If you have gotten any value from this video at all, please hit that like button below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. That way, you will be the first to know when I upload a new video. Also, share this video with your friends and family. You might just be helping them to pull out of the many who cannot afford $500 emergency funds in Canada. Now let's talk about the fourth thing you can do to save that $7,000 fast. Pay yourself first. Yes, guys, you heard that, right? Before you make any expenses when your paycheck comes in, pay yourself first. Save that $279 or $583 or whatever the number is first before making any other expenses. What you want to do is set up automatic payment from your salary account to take this amount to your savings account. The reason why that's important? because you are making a commitment to stick with your goal. Also, because this is automatic, you won't have to forget, neither hesitate and develop cold feet when it's time to save. The money just leaves automatically to your desired savings account. I first heard about the power of this idea from the book, The Richest Man in Babylon, written by Napoleon Hill. If you have not, I recommend you read that book. It will totally revolutionize the way you see money and savings. Now onto the fifth and final thing you can do to save $7,000 fast. Get an accountability partner. An accountability partner is someone who supports you to keep a commitment to a desired goal. This person is often a trusted friend or acquaintance who will check in with you about your progress. So this can be your spouse, your friend, your mom, dad, child. 
You can even form a savings club with a group of friends. Someone who can be trusted to check in with you regularly to make sure you are on track. Let's be real, guys. Sometimes we're less than motivated, so having someone who can keep us motivated and encourage us when needed can go a long way. The key is to be consistent, disciplined, and determined to hit your goal of saving $7,000 fast. There you have it, guys. Five things you can do to save $7,000 fast. You can do this, guys. Yes, you got this. And this is to your success.